Okay, this is going to be the second time I have recorded this video because uh, my microphone was not picking up my voice when it got quiet. Such is the uh, folly of using a dynamic mic, but that's what I got and that's what I'm using. But I fixed it. So let's start over. All right, I am going to do a video on how to make a ribbon uh, brush. Um, one of the appeals apparently of my previous tutorials was that I talk like an idiot because I don't actually know the technical terms for half the things I'm doing because I learned them by a process of elimination and trial and error. So I'm going to be probably using incorrect terms, but they are what make sense to me. So someone gave me the idea to do a demonstration by making a rat tail brush, basically a brush that draws a rat tail. So I'm going to do that for you. Basically, this is going to be also a tutorial on how to do a, a custom brush tip. So this, the first thing I have to do is draw the brush tip. Um, I'm going to, uh, for the sake of making my life easier, I'm going to draw a box to uh, to be the beginning of the rat tail. And this is because um, the front and end of the brush are the parts that are going to be touching and repeating as a pattern. So you want them to be the same exact width and size. So um, to make life, actually, you know what, to make life easier and so I can do a, a little bit of a more organic shape, I am going to Uh, use the I'm using the symmetrical ruler so they can be perfectly symmetrical. Um, even when I erase, uh, they will be perfect symmetrical. But I'm going to do that with a rectangle tool. Tool. Okay, cool. There we go. So now I'm going to draw on it. Um, I'm going to get rid of the symmetrical ruler because I do not need it. Wait, no, I do. Sorry, I was going to... I forgot that I, what I said was I was going to try to make the lines a little... A little rougher because I want this to be kind of a rough brush. Sorry, I'm not good at drawing sideways. So let me. There we go. There we go. Let me just fatten this up because I want this to be a fairly thick line. Okay, cool. Um, and just so you know, this is the, this first video is going to go on uh, YouTube, but from here on out, the rest are going to be going on my Patreon first. I'm going to be making a bunch more. I'm just doing this to sort of get the ball rolling. Uh, so, okay, I just, use again, use the rectangle tool to cut off the end so they can perfectly uh, touch each other and match up. So I'm going to delete that ruler because I don't need it anymore. Now I'm going to start drawing the details of this uh, rat tail. So I'm just going to add some scales because rats got little scaly tails and it doesn't really matter to me, you know, how uniform they are because this is kind of cartoony. I do have to be careful that I don't um, get too close to the bottom or the top so that they don't touch weird. All right. All right. Now I'm going to go in and add some, some hairs, just a few little hairs. Now there's two ways to make a brush. I'm gonna show you um, that's gonna be a repeating ribbon style brush. Um, one is where the it's only the black outlines and one where it has a white fill. However, for both, you gotta do something specific. Uh, but before I do that, I need to do something else. Okay, so I'm gonna select all, copy that layer, and I'm going to go to create new from clipboard. What that does is it makes it its, its own new, new image with no margins around the image, nothing. It's like the, just exactly what you need. So I'm going to drop the background layer so you can see the transparency and I'm going to make a new layer where I'm going to put white behind it. That's sort of the fill for the tail because we're going to make two brushes technically. Okay, the first brush. So what we're going to do is you need to go on the layer that the lines are that are going to be your brush. Go to expression of color under a, uh, it's a layer properties and make it gray. And you're going to make sure only the black square is selected and not the white. I actually don't know why, 
but if you don't it will not be able to change colors and it will only ever be the color that you drew it in I don't know why you have to deselect white but you do anyway so now I've got that I'm gonna select everything and go into edit register material image all right I'm gonna call this rat tail a because I made a rat tail before this that I can't use well I could use I guess but it wouldn't match the tutorial because it was for a video that did not record properly okay so we're gonna use make this a brush tip shape it says right here this little uh, box you can check make sure to check that and then you put it into whatever category you want to mine my I'm I've given up on my um, folders they're a mess so I put them all under monochromatic pattern because I just don't give a shit and I'm gonna call it uh, AL and a uh, tag it here I'm adding tags to the brush uh, one is my initials and one is a brush tip that's so I can find shit faster if I forget what I t named it so I'm gonna press okay and now we're going to make a second version of this brush where we are going to merge the black and the white layers. And we're going to once again make the expression color gray, but we're going to leave the white um, as uh, selected and not deselect it. And so we're going to do the exact same thing we did before. Register material image. Rat tail A2. All the stuff we did before. Na, 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 na. I'm not even going to tag it. I don't care. I'm sorry. I'm a little jaded after doing this video once. All right. So we've got those done. So we're going to go back. This is like uh, to my other file, which is I'm considering like my scratch paper. So we are going to uh, select one of the default brushes for Clip Studio Paint, which is the G Pen, which looks like this. And and it's just a repeating dot. You see how uh, the, every single li uh, line you draw with a brush is just a series of repeating dots. They just look smoother if they are right on top of each other. Um, and they look... Sorry, my rats just decided to flip their house. Okay, good boys. Bad boys. So, let's go and start changing this. So, we're going to go to brush tip so we can find our rat tail. Rats. That's fine. See, those are the first two I did for the other tutorial, but I can't use them, so we're going to use the new one because, you know. Now you'll notice immediately this has to be edited pretty severely, uh, so it'll work. But uh, Clip Studio Paint actually makes this really easy. Making ribbon brushes is super easy because you go into Stroke. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, see this little menu I have open? It's Subtool Detail. You get that by selecting the brush you want and opening this little wrench icon. So then you go up to here. So we're gonna press ribbon under stroke. Now, now it does this. So what we have to do is change the direction of the brush. So let's go to brush tip, direction when apply, uh, there it is. So we have to change it. Okay, it's gonna be about 90, I think. There, I just changed it to 90 degrees. And now it looks like this. However, you will notice that it overlaps and, because it's only the outline, so it does like this. If you want it to have that solid background, let's change the brush tip. Actually, no, I'm going to, because I want to keep playing with this. Let's duplicate it again and go into the settings and change the brush tip to our other rat tail. And now this one does like this. Now you have this infinite rat tail. Again, I don't know why you would need to draw an infinite rat tail, but now you can. Yeah. Um, now let's say you don't want it to constantly fluctuate in shape like uh, the G like the G pen does. It's uh, changing the thickness is changing with the pressure I put down. So this is like no pressure. This is all the pressure. So let's say you don't want that. Well, you just turn it off. Let's go into settings. You're going to go to brush size. And here you have um, input affecting the brush size. These are all the things that you're going to do that will affect the brush size. If you don't want it to be affected by anything, just uncheck everything. And bam, you got this. Where it will never get thicker or thinner unless you just make the brush smaller. Like so. Now... Oh, that was weird. It's a really weird brush. Anyway, because we made it the way we did, 
any color any the black parts will be changed based on whatever color you select but the white will stay white i think unless it becomes the second color you pick yeah no it becomes the second color you pick i don't use this option a lot i don't use a lot of like solid white brushes but yeah so now you can use both colors wee wowie zowie um and the other brush we made where did it go oh shit it's right up here the other brush we made will only ever be an outline so i lost it where am i there it is okay wee uh, let's make it white again so yeah uh there's a ton of different things you can do with brushes. Like I said, I'm going to start posting uh, different brush tutorials to Patreon, and then later they will find their way onto YouTube. Um, I'm just going to figure out what people want to see, what people are struggling with, um, if there's anything I didn't demonstrate as clearly as you would have liked, etc., etc. Blah, 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 -de blah. I don't know why you'd want to draw a rat tail that goes on forever, but this has other applications. Uh, maybe uh, you have to draw something repeatedly that's killing your hand and some kind of ribbon effect would negate that a little. Alright, so again, let me know if there's anything I didn't demonstrate as clearly as you would have liked or some, another brush type or effect you'd like to see demonstrated so you can make your own. Uh, and that's it. Bye, I guess.